How you doing my fellow Pokemon trainers? My name is Pokeballer Luke, but you could just call me Luke. And today I have a pretty special Pokemon Go tutorial for you guys. Now Pokemon Go has been out for a few days and it's been pretty awesome so far. I've been enjoying the hell out of myself, been going out catching Pokemon, going for walks with my brothers, and I see a lot of people on Twitter struggling for items. So today guys, I'm going to be bringing you a short tutorial on how to get more items, how to be more efficient with your items in Pokemon Go, and it's all pretty simple honestly. So the items that you can find while you are out exploring are Pokeballs of course, you can get eggs, and there's three different types of eggs. There's a 2 kilometer egg where you have to walk 2 kilometers to hatch it. This will give you a common Pokemon such as a Caterpie or a Weedle. There's an uncommon egg which will give you a more rare Pokemon such as maybe a Mankey or a Sandshrew. And then lastly there's the rare egg which is 10 kilometers which is a ton that you have to walk to hatch but it'll be worth it because you'll get a rare Pokemon such as Dratini. Additionally you can also find a potions and the rarest of all is revives and those are the four main items you can find while out in the wild. On screen right now you guys can see my personal inventory after playing for only two days. This game has only been out for two days so far and I have all these items. I have over 30 potions, over 20 revives, 3 incense, and over 100 pokeballs. And I'm here to tell you how you can get this for yourself. Now, the trick is pokestops. Now, obviously, you guys know that pokestops are where you find your items in the wild. But what you may not know is that pokestops will recycle every 5 minutes. So every 5 minutes, I can revisit the same pokestop that I just went to and therefore I'll be able to get more items from it. Now obviously we don't have time to just be waiting around all day and waiting 5 minutes until it resets, plus sometimes it glitches out and you don't really get anything. Hopefully this will be fixed in future updates, but I digress. Now a lot of you may be upset because maybe you don't live around that many Pokestops. I've seen a lot of people living in more rural areas and they only have like 1 or 2 Pokestops around. Now on screen you can see 2 images that show all the Pokestops I can see from my house where I live. Now fortunately for me I live in a city. And the key to finding more Pokestops is to be in a city. Now I know what you're thinking, so just hold on for one second. Anyways, the reason that there are more Pokestops in cities is because cities are more populated with more people. So obviously they're going to spend more time going into a bigger city and adding more Pokestops for different attractions than in a random neighborhood. So you can take your own time to do a few of these strategies I'm about to tell you to help you get more items from Pokestops. Now, you are going to need to be in a city for all of them, except for the first one. The first strategy is basically just take a walk. If you live near one or two Pokestops, take a walk around the block a couple times. Take like a, go to the Pokestop, take a five minute walk, come back. And while you're taking a walk, you know, you can either find new Pokemon to catch or hey, you can even hatch an egg. So you're not wasting your time. Plus you're outside being active. Bring a friend with you, take him on a walk with you. It'll be fun and you'll be able to get more items and you'll be able to catch more Pokemon. Next, and this is a pretty, pretty big one, which I've seen a lot of people talking about on Twitter. Play Pokemon Go in the car. Now, I must tell you, I do not want you guys to be driving and playing Pokemon Go. That is dangerous, not only for you, but the people around you. So please don't do that. I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting hurt. But if you are in the passenger seat, feel free to have Pokemon Go opened up the entire time. If you're driving through a city, there will be so many Pokestops and you can just get them while you're driving by. Just quickly tap them as soon as they open up. This will save you a lot of time and will get you a ton of items. So next time your mom asks you if you want to go to the grocery store with her, maybe you should say yes because on the way there, you're sure to get at least 20, maybe 30 Pokeballs even. Along with other cool items like revives and potions. The last one is basically a mix of the first two and that is just take a walk through the city. If you're walking through the city you'll find gyms, you'll find Pokestops, and you'll find Pokemon too and you'll be hatching your eggs while you're walking. It's basically killing multiple birds with one stone. Or should I say killing multiple Pidgeys with one stone. Now, I feel bad because this is kind of limited. A lot of us don't live near a city, and I'm sure a lot of you viewers watching are a little bit too young to be able to go there by yourself. But if that's the case for you specifically, just tag along in the car whenever you can. Whenever your parents are driving somewhere, just tag along. You'll be able to hit tons of Pokestops on the way. I cannot stress how fun it is to play Pokemon Go when in the passenger seat of a car. It's, it's insane. Now, there's other cool items such as incense and incubators. Now, so far I have not seen a single one of these at a Pokestop and I'm fairly certain that you can't get these from Pokestops. So to get these, you're either gonna have to level up or buy them. 
And let's be honest, no, no one's gonna buy anything from Pokemon Go, hello? So just level up. On level 5, you'll get an extra incense, and if you still have your first two from the beginning, you'll have three. You also get another incubator, which you can use to help hatch your eggs more efficiently. And just a small little tip before we go, I definitely think you should save your incense for later. You start out with two, and like I said before, you'll get a third on level 5. And I would definitely save them till you're a much higher level, so you can get Pokemon that are a lot stronger, and use all the old Pokemon that you have from before to either evolve them or power them up more. That's just my advice no need to take it do whatever you feel is needed and yeah i guess that's kind of it guys good luck on your pokemon journeys